Oh, so tasty. Oh, a couple things. Huh? There's the first one. Oh, yeah. A little Nespresso in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the studio. We're back in uh, rest week. Unbelievable. It's good to be back from Toledo. Just taking a little, a little reprieve from the training right now. You know what I mean? And yes, oh man, catching up on running shoe reviews. Thank you for your patience. It's been a while. It's been, hold on, let me take a sip here. Ooh, so good. Okay, it's been a hot minute since I think it's been close to two weeks since I've published either a first impression or full review from the studio. A lot of new subscribers, a lot of new subscribers from the weekend. If you're new, welcome. Just so you know, this is the studio. In case you're wondering, what is that word? Shoe D O. All right, it's three words put together. This is my shed, okay? So S H. This is my literally. This is where I used to store my lawnmowers, my weed eaters. I still have some saws hanging up there, okay? So that's the S H. O E is shoe, okay? Because this is where we literally sometimes break down shoe uh, shoes, uh, running shoes. And then D O is the fact that this is a mini makeshift, homemade, very homemade studio. All right, so put it all together for studio, shoe, studio. So welcome, and yes, uh, I take shoes to 50 miles to uh, in order to qualify for a 50 mile full review. All right, I won't do a full review unless, and I'll always, I rarely forget, but I'll always be very specific when I don't take a shoe to 50 miles, like today, the Saucony Peregrine 11. All right, I believe we are at 23 or 24 miles in this neutral, let's do the twist test, neutral trail running shoe, okay? It's actually twisting pretty good there through that midsole, and uh, so anyway, I, I am, okay, I'm transitioning from road racing to trail racing as we get ready for the summer months here in North America. I know everybody in the Southern Hemisphere is getting ready for, I guess, winter, but up here, I'm very excited. So I think, I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna commit 100% that we're gonna take this to 50 miles, but if I do, you will hear about it first here in the studio. Okay, we're looking at four millimeters from heel to toe, 27 in the heel, 23 in the forefoot. Okay, let's confirm there's women's size eight men's size nine on your screen, soak it in. Granted, there's a little bit of mud caked on here, so I'm gonna take that into account, but I believe we're a little over 10 ounces in my size. Sure enough, 10.7, but inside, I think I had 10.4 when there was no mud. Okay, so there it is on your screen, 10.4 ounces or 297 grams. I'm not too excited about that weight. All right, there's my score for the weight on your screen. For the upper, we're looking at an air mesh upper, and I gotta say, Lockdown score, really solid. I think, yes, semi-gusseted tongue, that's why. I couldn't remember, but that is why it is getting a, a pretty solid score for that lockdown, eight out of 10, I love it. Uh, very, I'm not gonna, it's, it's borderline plush through this upper. Uh, it's approaching plush, very, very close, so very, very comfortable upper. Overall score for the upper, we're looking at 7.5, and I think it's gonna do a, a solid job if you're running in trails that have like, not soaking wet, but just like little puddles or just like a little bit of water on the trails, I think this toe box, this toe cap area is actually gonna do pretty well with this TPU overlay to keep the grit and the water out of the toe box. So overall, I'm excited about this upper that they, and even, wow, I just noticed, and let's do the heel counter test. Yeah, it's, it's fairly stout, all right? Saucony Peregrine 11 heel counter is pretty stout, but gosh, really, Overall, I think your feet are gonna do well if you're concerned about getting them very, you know, really wet, especially if you, you know, are getting these spring storms like we're getting here in Colorado with uh, lots of snowstorms here in April. Moving on to that midsole, we're looking at Power Run, which is a TPU slash EVA blend, okay? Let's do the durometer test. Overall ride and energy return, wah, wah, wah. Did, I don't even think we broke into the fives. It's just feeling blah. I don't know what else. It just doesn't feel like it has much energy return. It feels a little dead underfoot. It uh, wasn't my favorite trail shoe that I've tested thus far for the ride and energy, okay? Now, 
if you're just getting out there putting three or four miles into the trails after work or before work and you're not going out for middle distance or long runs i think this could work but right now i'm not very excited about this power run uh, midsole material it just feels even to like there's just not much happening like giving back as i'm sticking my thumbs into that midsole so overall score 5.5 out of 10 onto that outsole we're looking at power run track five millimeter lug depth they're not messing around Sockety, great work uh, it's so this is not a commuter shoe meaning you put them on you run on pavement and concrete yeah, for two or three miles in order to get to the trails okay that's what i qualify as a commuter shoe the lugs are serious this is an aggressive lug pattern very aggressive Th you know five millimeters is not messing around and they just feel like they're they look and feel like they're gonna bite and i did pretty good out there and the, i did a little bit of mud today and uh, i feel like it uh, it was biting the mud really well so good work there on the outsole fit standard score nothing crazy to write home about as far, you know to report standard through the toe box standard through the midfoot no slipping through the heel okay so there you go seven out of ten moving on to that comfort i wish it could be a better comfort score if i was separating the upper from the midsole it would be but i'm not and so that comfort is really being driven down because of that midsole ride hate to do it but five out of ten positive is it's the outsole all right it's exciting and we're getting into trail running season and i can now you know outsoles on road shoes it's hard to put that as my positive but now it's a oh, trail running season is coming hot and quick and so i am very excited for this outsole and my drawback of course is that midsole ride moving on to the durability prediction i think 600 miles at least yeah six i mean it's even though the midsole is not bouncing back at me it's uh it, i think it's definitely because it just feels dense which i don't really like that feeling but i think it's going to have a great uh lifespan okay so pretty solid score there for the durability prediction how will i use this shoe i'm not sure I, you know what i would do everyone okay for everyone local in in denver you know this is a great mount falcon shoe for like again that four to six mile range i wouldn't really love taking it past six miles personally all right there you go and on to that price point 120 dollars all right i don't know that's that's awesome for a trail shoe a lot of times trail shoes start at least at 130 so 120 isn't bad but i wonder if Saucony realizes that they can't charge much more because of the midsole ride it just uh i think it's a standard man this might be a great entry who's the best for an entry level trail shoe where you're just getting into trail running you're going two miles three miles maybe five or six miles and you don't want to spend you know you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a trail shoe all right that's where i'm at with this shoe other shoes to buy on your screen there you go soak it in brooks catamount the the uh, hero v5 from new balance which i believe the v6 is coming out very soon i'm even going to put to a certain extent the wild horse 6 i would definitely buy the catamount or the wild horse 6 before the peregrine 11 all right shoe quick specs on your screen for the sockney peregrine 11 soak them in one more time and that early score i'm not committing to 50 miles early score 6.4 out of 10 not so good anything below seven is not good and this isn't even close to seven i wish i could get more excited about that midsole but right now it's just not happening question of the day love this one i can, i am gonna dive into the comments today as much as i can if you could go back and watch on youtube or tv one race like from the 70s from the 60s from the 90s whenever any time in the past you could only choose one race to go back and re-watch which one would it be and why it could be a local race it could be a big race it could be trail it could be road can't why because i just like it connects to our running heritage and our running history so can't wait to read your answers thanks for hitting it up down below onward and upward we will toss it to the uh Saucony, uh running shoe playlist actually no 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 we're gonna do a trail running shoe playlist okay since we're getting into trail running season trail running shoe playlist right there right there right there all right everyone see beauty work hard and love each other
See you tomorrow.